Hey guys, welcome to this week's Times of James video. This is what's going to happen. In fact, hold on. Did you like the little lights that I've had, that I've got? Little stands that I've put in, aren't they beautiful? Um, anyway, this is what's going on in this week's video. I do a song about a pigeon. We do some post-lockdown shopping and I do another song about it. Behind the scenes at the studio for a shoot. I build a pulley for my home gym because obviously I can't go to the gym at the moment. Plus I get a pillar drill. I share with you my awful keep fit regime. And I also make a huge sign for my local pub and a platform for my pudi care. So anyway, let's get on with it guys. Hope you enjoy it. Hit the sub button, hit the notification, hit the bell and all that sort of stuff. There's some new things coming up. Hopefully I'll be able to go flying soon. Anyway, see you soon. Right then, I've got a couple of silly little jobs to do. And I haven't been doing a lot of Times of James filming lately because of that hammock. It's that hammock's fault. But Emily is out here at the moment. Oh my God, look how beautiful it is. The trees are out, the apple tree is out. The Cianathus is about to come out again. Look at this apple tree, look at that. But we've noticed, right, Emily's doing that. That big G keeps going up in the tree up here. And he sits on that stump up there and just goes absolutely mental. So I thought, you know what? He obviously likes sitting up there. Why don't I make him a little platform? Or as I'm going to call it, a cat form. And I'll be very interested to see if he actually goes up on it. Things like this, he needs to actually see be built. And there's a lot of stuff going on like, oh. So I go near that or not, meow, meow, meow. So hopefully what we'll do, we'll get him up, because he's in bed at the moment. I mean, he's a cat, isn't he? Beautiful sunny day, and he's in bed upstairs. Um, so I'm gonna get him down here. We're gonna get that platform built, and then just see if he goes up there. I'm not gonna plonk him on it. That sort of attitude doesn't work, does it, M with G? He needs, to be, he needs to be on his own terms. Yeah, his own terms. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna make him a little platform. Let's just draw out what I'm gonna do. This, this is the plan. So the plan is to cut a small piece of maybe 18 mil plywood. So we're not messing around here when it comes to Big G's cat form. Then I can set it on top of that stump that he always stands on every day of his little tabby life. And then underneath, put a little beam on there to take his little tabby weight. Big G's out now. Here he is. George, what's this? What am I making? Don't get me wrong everybody, this is actually more about lockdown sanity than insanity. I'm just trying to keep my brains going. God. Every puddy cat needs creature comforts as well. So we're gonna get a little bit of a little bit of carp here. A bit of mild shag for him. He does love a bit of mild shag, even though he has been done and doesn't have any bollocks. A couple of days, he won't go on it, and then all of a sudden he'll be on it all the time. Go and have a look, go on. Go and have a little sniff about. Oi. You'll find out later on in the video if the tabby beast goes up there. Pigeon. like you pigeon but I think you've pushed it too far you're trying to do some big old shits on my lovely garden park and I think that the cat's on it cause he always sits with you he never tries to beat you up he never tries to chew on your leg another way that really makes me scream is the way you put your fat grey pigeon body in the pond stream cause when you do that the water doesn't flow back into the pond and the water level goes down 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 and the next day I have to fill it up again and the water level goes down and the water level goes down and the water level goes down and the next day I have to get the hose out and fill it up again Pigeon 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 Pigeon, yes. 
there, baby. Look at you. Finally, our local shopping centre has opened. Garden, garden centre. Garden sorry, garden centre. And we're going to go there now to okay. snog people like mad. Now, we're going there to um, just get some bits and pieces. Have you got my vouchers, by the way? No, Thought I'm gonna pull out my hair. My hair. Because this is fucking ridiculous. ridiculous. Why don't they just admit it? Just admit it, guys. They thought that it would be much worse. The media got into a gang. And now this shop cannot sell its orangutan. And that's a sign of the economy going down the drain. Anyway. I needed some beer Just to get through this period in time The unspoken rule of not drinking during the week Has gone out of the window I'm just a piss head. A fucking piss head. I'm drinking all of the time So I sit in my garden And enjoy every minute It makes me feel fine So we've been to the garden centre and so far we're still alive. <laughs> we've actually survived it. How about that? Beautiful day. Got some beers, Emily's shaking them up. Lovely, lovely. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed those little musical interludes. Recorded all those vocals in one take, which is why they're so out of tune. Anyway, let's pop to the studio, have a look behind the scenes of a little product shoot I'm doing. This shot here, this product, we'll just see it in there with this uh, lower lens as well. Lower lens beast. I've got a little bit of smoke to go with it, so look at this. Man, that looking good. So, right, this is what I'm doing at the moment. Look, so what I'm doing is I'm filming this product here. If we go around this part. Um, that is this this shotgun lens here and that allows us to get really really close But what I want to do I want to have it so it's spinning round the actual product spinning round as it comes in So let me show you how I'm going to achieve that So the lens is going to come in and out on that track there. I have a Spinner just here and this is hardcore stuff. I'm having to super glue the little joystick in there So this just carries on spinning round then what I'm going to do is I am going to Raise up. Right, okay, there we go. Now I've got it where I want it. So there is our product, and it's sandwiched in these lights here, so it's in this sort of like world of lights. There we've got our spinning piece down below, and tripod set up, um, and then, then we've got our probe lens going in and out. Now this is getting low on battery, this camera is. So rather than listen to me jibber jabber about all this, why don't you just have a quick look at the very first shot I got with this lens.
it's safe to say I think this lens is absolutely sick and this is the first time I'd ever used it on the slider. There's going to be a few changes I'm going to make to it as well because there's a slight little judder at the end of this. But for a first time outing, I'm really, really impressed with it and cannot wait to be using it with my clients and on this channel in the future. I think a lot of people would have achieved during the lockdown if they had a garden was getting out there and pruning everything making everything look beautiful and for me it's definitely been something that's kept me mentally happy throughout this really quite trying time especially as personally I started to believe that this lockdown wasn't really needed. Sorry if you disagree with that, but we live in a country where we're allowed to say things that other people disagree with, or it was the last time I looked. Lockdown has made me feel really lucky about the fact that I've got this beautiful garden, and I really feel for the people who live in urban areas who can't go outside, who have children, and are really, really struggling through this period. For one, they couldn't have got as amazing at ping pong as Emily and I, and they wouldn't have been able to sit back and enjoy a garden in the way I I have during this period. It's definitely helped. All the footage that you're watching here has been filmed throughout the lockdown to be honest and I kind of didn't really feel like editing because it was such a shit time to be alive. Sorry to have to let you know as well that Big G's cat platform has been an abject failure. He's, uh, as you can see, he's resorted to just laying in mud all the time, which is typical G. Anyway, I thought it'd just be nice for you guys to have a little look around the garden, see all the lovely flowers and everything, because it is something that Emily and I are really, really proud of, and we do love getting out in the garden and spending time together. And I think the people in this lockdown who I feel for the most are the ones who are on their own throughout it. So if you do know anyone who's on their own, maybe you should knock on their door and go around there for a chat. <laughs> Circus. Gotta stay healthy, ain't ya, at these times. I don't know why, but I had my microphone turned right up so it kept distorting. So look, don't worry guys, I'll guide you through this beautiful bit of exercising. One of the most important things I've learned over my life, especially if you want to stay happy in mind, is to make sure that you do plenty of training. Get out, get your heart rate up, get those endorphins pumping through your goddamn body. Now, I'm lucky enough to have a garden and I'm also lucky enough to have built up quite a lot of gym equipment over the years so I can make my own circuits. That's why I've got a menu. For me, circuits are when you do a small amount of exercise for about 30 seconds, then go on to another completely different exercise for 30 seconds, and then have maybe a little 20 second rest, and then carry on going through all these different exercises, hitting all parts of your body, getting your heart rate up, but crucially never getting bored because you're doing so many different things, and then going around through that whole set three times. That usually takes about 40 minutes and will burn somewhere between 500 and 600 calories depending on how mental you want to go. So let me guide you through one whole set of this day's circuit. I always start with a light warm up which means jogging from one end of the garden to the other and just doing a little tap at each end to seal the deal. I usually do 10 lengths of the garden which is probably about 100 metres overall. Then after that a couple of star jumps just to get my shoulders engaged because I've got quite stiff shoulders and then also just a couple of loosening exercises for the torso and the legs if you can be asked. Now some lovely high knees agony for 30 seconds. <laughs> Now a big old bear crawl up the garden, getting everything moving. Then I have 30 seconds rest and then straight into 30 seconds of skipping. I've got so much better at skipping lately. It was really, really hard when I started it, but now I feel so much better at it. And then seconds later, smashing out a whole garden path of weighted lunges. 
As soon as I get to the end of the garden path with those lunges, straight away ban the dumbbells down and bash out 30 seconds of slow press ups. I think you all know what this is and how long I'm gonna do it for, but let's just do a little bit of slow-mo. Sexy. <laughs> Now to target the back, arms and torso with a little bit of whatever this is and then straight away into some shoulder pressing. Bumheads then grabs the camera and manages to capture me resetting a 30 second set with my nose on my Apple watch for these step ups. Reset Doing your bum, your legs and your scrotum. <laughs> then it's straight into the hardest Get part of the set kettlebell transfers. Something that I kind of invented actually, and I'm really and proud of. Left. You grab the lightest kettlebell, take it to the next kettlebell up in weight category, and so on, all the way to the end, where you put the heaviest kettlebell on top of a set of steps, make sure it's in there, and then do a quick press up to seal the deal, then running the kettlebells all the way back to where they were, ready for whoever's next in the next set, or for when you do them again later on in your training. Battle rope seated. And then 30 seconds of crossover crunch. Just having a big old go at the abs here, really. Just getting the old side bits going. And then straight into 30 seconds. I just call them crossover crunches, but it's basically Pilates feet, powering your feet, your legs, trying to get your abby wabs working. 30 seconds rest. Last set. As you can see, I'm really quite out of breath now. It's getting hot now as well, isn't it? Yep. Oh, mate. All that's left to do now is to lunge back down the garden, mainly because those weights will then be in the right position for when I do this whole set again. Then some elasticated side-to-side -side crabs that don't look like they do a lot, but I tell you, if you could feel my ass right now, you would know that it's on fire, yo. And then, oh, just to finish, a nice little 30 second set of my knees that we all love. And there you go, that's it, done, dusted. Look at the state of me at the end of it. Ah. All right, there we go. Now have one minute's break. And then do it all over again. Two more times. And then that's it, that's all the training you need to do today. You know what, I don't want to make this whole video too long. So look, let's end it now. And then those other segments of me making the sign, making my pulley for the gym, getting that beast bench drill put in, will also be added to interviews that I've done with star jockey Oshin Murphy and hopefully Kieran Fallon if I can get him. Anyway, I'll see you in the next video. There's some big things coming up on Times of James that I'm going to be starting soon. So keep an eye out on your eBay. Meow, big G. Would like you to subscribe, meow, he wants you to click that button now, or he's going to come and get you with his tail and his claws, meow.